Hi, I'm Gavin, CEO of Brick, and we enable tech companies to build in-app financial services with a single API. In the near future, every company will earn a significant portion of their revenue from financial services. And this trend is already in full swing in Southeast Asia. Increasingly, we are seeing consumer tech companies like Shopee, Tokopedia, and Traveloka offer more and more financial services to their end users. And to offer these financial services in a delightful manner, they need good financial APIs like those built by Brick. Yet today, tech companies in Southeast Asia still do not have access to basic financial APIs. So before an end user can invest, get credit, or buy insurance from a tech platform, they first need to fill in long forms before manually uploading documents of information they just shared, documents like their proof of address, before leaving the platform to navigate cumbersome bank transfer processes. All in all, this is a super tedious process both for the consumer and internal stakeholders, leads to a lot of customer drop-off and is also prone to fraud. All factors that combine together to negatively impact a tech company's bottom line. These pain points that I just mentioned are all pain points that I experienced firsthand while building the first SME Neobank for Southeast Asia. So I decided to team up with the best fintech tech leader that I know, my co-founder Deepak, to build Brick. Introducing Brick, one line of code for all financial APIs. With just one line of code, fintech developers will now be able to implement a world-class in-app widget that instantly gives them access and removes any barriers to a variety of local financial data, from banking data to e-commerce data to telco data. Our first market is Indonesia. And in the past six months, we spoke with hundreds of fintechs in Indonesia to identify the core use cases they urgently need. We immediately executed on this insight and launched four core APIs with the top seven banks in Indonesia representing about 90% coverage of adult bank accounts in Indonesia, making us the market leader in coverage in Indonesia today. And we are just getting started. In the past six months, we secured our license with the IT ministry in Indonesia, launched our beta with seven banking connections, and we went live with our first customer, with another 33 customers in Sandbox implementing our integrations as we speak, representing more than $1.2 million in ARR in that stage alone. Financial API platforms are a proven business model. They've worked well the past 20 years in US and Europe. And now this open finance revolution is taking the world by storm with well-funded platforms coming up all over the world. But there are still no major players for Southeast Asia. And the market opportunity in Southeast Asia is huge. Taking our initial addressable market of 219 million users who already spend money on the internet, and an average conservative fee of 30 cents per active account connected, Brick is sitting on a market opportunity of $2.37 billion annually. The top fintech leaders across the world believe that we are the best team to build the go-to financial API platform for Southeast Asia. And now we need your help to build the future of finance in Southeast Asia. We are closing our seed round in two weeks. If you are a strategic investor, and if you would like to build the future of finance together with us, please reach out. Thank you.